Thing that was about to leave. Just shoot, shoot whatever he says. Um, come close so you can hear it. Like right up the side, right up here. So you can hear here. Now there's this area over here as well that also has uh, has people staying here. So it, it, it is growing. The movement is growing. Why? Why is it the media mediatization of the event of, or just your presence in downtown? Uh, it's the, I think that people are, are becoming more aware of it. Uh, there's a lot of people who are curious uh, that are coming down to see what it's all about. And I, I know that I was just in Occupy Toronto and there's a number of people that I spoke to there that just came down with an open mind and uh, they've gotten involved. They've ended up staying, uh, coming down and participating as much as possible. What about so, the uh, relation with the, uh, the police? Uh, I know that in Ottawa the relationship with the police has been very respectful. And, uh, Hopefully it'll continue that way. Like there's, there's never been any. Uh, the the police have been all, always very respectful to the how process. Long, how long can it last? Uh, I think the the movement will will last as long as it takes. The movement is about dialogue. It's about people coming together and discussing the issues that uh, we need to address as uh, a society, as a, as a country. There are, are many, many things that need to be addressed in our country and if you ask any person, everybody will give you a different answer, but nobody will say that there's no issues that we need to address. And so this is what this, this movement is about, is for people coming together and discussing the issues and, and trying to come up with creative solutions to address these issues because the, the government, uh, doesn't seem to be uh, looking at things in such a way that they're being creative about trying to address the problems. As a matter of fact, they're avoiding uh, dealing with a lot of the problems. You know, pick anything, and, and you, you you see that years and years pass, and uh, the problems you still see the same problems coming up over and over again in the media. You gave me a global answer to a local question that was like, "What winter is coming?" Is that a concern? I don't think it's a concern. The people here are committed to uh, to staying. Uh, I don't see the, the movement ending anytime soon. And the thing is, is that uh, the, the group here are preparing for that. There's a winterization committee. There's a number of committees that have come up as part of uh, this movement, and each one of those committees are looking at addressing uh, different issues that, that we have to face as a community. In the park. My question is more related to the individual concern, I guess, from the NCC because last year, they, as you know, they have the what is it? Winter. The winter, the wood, and everything, you know, the sculpture, and all that. Uh, it's here, it's in this area. So, uh, would you be willing to uh, move away somewhere else? Well, I, I would hope that the NCC would, would speak to the people here, would come down here, uh, people who are involved at NCC, and discuss how uh, people who are staying here uh, can work with, with the NCC to, to come up with a creative solution. We're, you know, this is a very welcoming community, and it's a matter of uh, the movement is all about coming up with the solutions. And uh, I, I think that you could have Winter Loot here and have the Occupy movement as well at the same time. The presence on the parliament no. is possible? Not, not really. Uh, the, uh, as a matter of fact, on the first day, the first General Assembly that took place here uh, on October 15th, uh, it was actually brought up at the General Assembly to everybody to say, do we want to stay here at the Confederation Park or do we want to move to Parliament Hill? And uh, unanimously, people agreed to stay here because it's not about uh, the Parliament. This is a, a movement uh, that is related to the people and us looking within ourselves to come up with creative solutions to address the issues that uh, we're facing in this country. And how many people are in the Oh, I would say that there's probably like about uh, 100, 120 people who are, are staying here in the park generally, and there's there's many more people who are also involved in in trying to support. Me. My name's Chris Ellie. Uh, uh, spelled E L I E. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.